And uh, the Special Olympics athletes uh, who are here, uh, because it's because of you that we are here, and all the distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning again. Uh, since today is time for teaching some new things, as we were taught to dance here, let me also teach you the way in the NCIC we now greet people. When I say Amani, you say Milele. When I say Milele, you say Amani. Okay? Amani, Milele, Milele, Amani, Milele, Amani. Milele. Amani. 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 Milele. thank you very much. Very good students. <laughs> now, let me allow me first of all to uh, introduce uh, our NCIC uh, commissioners who are here Dr. Danivas Makori. Uh, please uh, stand at the wave, uh, representing the commissioners. And then we have uh, Dr. Skita Ocharo, the CEO of uh, NCIC. And uh, uh, we have also uh, some uh, senior uh, staff, uh, colleagues from NCIC here. Now, let me say that uh, it is really my uh, distinct uh, honor and a privilege to be here on behalf of NCIC knowing that this is another election year which since the advent of multi-party democracy in 1992 have been marked and marred with ethnic violence, increased crime, and sometimes the shutdown of our economy. This is something that has been uh, uh, referred to by the uh, previous speakers. And uh, it is uh, because of this that uh, we consider it imperative for elections uh, when they come, we must light up the flame of peace in the hearts and mind of every Kenyan to prevent any form of uh, divisive and violent uh, outbursts. From the time immemorial, the lighting of the torch has always had significance. Most memorably, the Olympic torch, which runs through every country, shows that we as humanity are one. Today, we borrow from that tradition to remind all Kenyans uh, of all walks of life that we are one. And that is why, as you see, the motto of uh, NCIC is one people, one nation, one destiny. This is really what we wanted to consider ourselves as. It is even more inspiring that uh, our torch carriers are none other than our Special Olympics athletes who represent a segment of society that Kenya needs to listen most to. They represent the most vulnerable in our society who are disproportionately affected by violence and disharmony. You can imagine what would happen when there is violence in a place and everyone has to run for their lives. And then you have those who, for no fault of their own, find themselves in a condition that they cannot run for their lives like the others. It is that disproportionality that really makes uh, them very special people. We must remind the Kenyans that though violence is always aimed at another party, the retaliation will always affect self as well. So when one, and as it was said here, the young in particular, are uh, uh, the ones that are hired the ones that uh, normally politicians uh, would want to, prom to, to recruit. And when they do it, 
sometimes they are the ones who end up being the most affected, sometimes even maimed, and are the ones of times killed. Nobody gets out of a boxing match and is scathed, and there is no winner in war, but there are many, many losers. The loss of lives, the loss of property, the loss of peace of mind, and the scars violence leaves behind makes many people worse off in society. It is therefore prudent that we all gather together here to light the flame of peace across our country. I would like the of our Special Olympics athletes for taking their time, their talent and energy to support the peace agenda. Indeed, it is to my utmost delight that this particular campaign sits in perfectly with our election Sibylla Norma campaign. By using sports and athletes to carry the torch of peace, we are sending an unmistakable sign that we mean business when we declare elections Bila Norma. In our long-held belief as NCIC that we can't possibly make and keep this promise by ourselves, which is why partnerships such as this we have today, and when you look at uh, you know, this, uh, all those who are here, and uh, I must say that uh, KEPSA is also here and uh, very, very well represented. All right, so that is the National Cohesion and Integration Commission uh, Chairperson, uh, Reverend Dr. Samuel Kobia, speaking at a function at uh, Mo International Sports Center, Kasarani, where there is the launch of the Special Olympics Amani Torch Run 2022, a peace run that is set to just uh, create awareness among uh, the public on the need to uh, remain peaceful, to be tolerant, to, to observe tolerance during this electioneering period.